Hey everyone and welcome back to What After Dentistry. I'm Dr. Shireen Saini and we are covering the compilation series of What After BDS. This is the part 2 of the series. Now I hope that in my previous video you were able to identify and relate with the next step of action that you can take after BDS. Either you can opt to study further you can start earning right after bds or you can think about working and settling abroad in today's video we are basically going to explore the various courses that are available after bds so stay tuned and watch the video till the end now before i move ahead as i always say please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified of all the updates we post Moving ahead what are the various courses that are available after BDS again this depends on what you want to diversify after BDS do you want to refine your clinical skills and practice dentistry or you would like to choose the non clinical route after BDS so today let's start with refining the clinical skills after BDS and i'm going to walk you through the courses that are available in india and abroad So let me just share my screen so that I do not miss out on any important information. So as you can see we can basically define clinical skills in India or we can do it outside India. Now when we talk about uh, you know refining skills in India and mastering that skill in any of the nine branches that we have in dentistry nothing can actually beat MDS. Okay so this is one of the one of the best options that are available and believe me 10 years or 12 years down the line after you complete your mbs and you work as a consultant you will definitely have a, have a good leap in your career that that is for sure it is there so as we all know it's a basic it's a 3 year course and it helps you to excel and explore the field of dentistry that you want to explore and you want to master apart from that even after mbs now you also have certain super specialization fields coming up so fields like oral oncology then uh, orthognathic surgery cleft and craniofacial surgery these are certain fields that you can explore after you know completing your mbs apart from that there are various other fields also coming up in oral medicine and radiology uh, in prosthodontics So depending on your area of interest you can actually try and explore the super specializations that are available after MDS and work accordingly. The next best or best option that we have is pursuing the fellowship programs or the diploma courses. Now these courses are for someone who doesn't want to go with a 3 year MDS program or someone who is not willing to get into a private college. uh since we know that the fees for mbs in private institution is quite high so you can opt for fellowship programs or diploma courses i will always suggest you to go with fellowship programs uh, the reason being there is a very thin line difference between these two type of courses the uh, difference is one that fellowship pro- programs these are practical in nature that means these are more patient oriented and th- uh, diploma programs are more of theory based you know uh, courses available sometimes these courses are available just for a day or a two like a cde program so you won't get that much of you know patient and practical exposure as it is required in the field of dentistry fellowship programs are most of the times these are you know one to two year long program maximum like most of them are like one year programs two year program will totally depend on the kind of branch that you have chosen whereas diploma courses these are as i said mentioned before these are sometimes just a day or two at the max they are like 6 month programs which are there fellowship programs you have a wide variety of it diploma courses you don't have much of uh, you know variety in the terms of the um, the 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 branch that it offers you generally have it very commonly like we have it for endodontics we have it for aesthetic dentistry uh but for fellowship programs you have programs for all the nine branches okay and apart from that you have it for implantology you have it for aesthetic dentistry cosmetology uh then you also have it for orofacial pain 
uh, then laser dentistry so these are some of the well known fellowship programs that are available these fellowship programs are generally provided by the renowned dental colleges like savitha dental college manipal college of dental sciences dr d y patel school of dentistry so not all the courses will be available in all the colleges some of them will have say the on the branches but savitha dental college actually and manipal they have a good amount of you know fellowship programs i will uh, mention the links of all the programs in the description below so please uh, refer to that uh, to the list or to the link that i am mentioning this will definitely help you to identify what are the various programs that you can actually explore and try, try working these diploma programs these are generally provided by private institutions or government institutions these are again uh, you know it, it totally depends on what kind of program you want to get into but if you if you really ask me i think fellowship programs are the next best option uh, instead of having or going with a diploma course right then there are other master courses also available like there is, in some of the institutions master of science is available in some of the branches of dentistry um like msc in forensic uh, odontology but that's again it's not a clinical it's not a clinical oriented uh, field i would not say completely like you can have a dental practice but it's more into forensic science and forensic odontology there are other courses as well but those are not very well known like you also have ms in implantology by i think by one of the uh, dental colleges uh you need to explore you know or you need to actually find out okay if you want to go with a particular course it's always better to talk to the alumni find out the, about the alumni of that particular uh, you know course talk to them try to connect with them identify and i ask them how is the exposure you know the practical classes are these good enough should i pursue or not so you need to actually uh, ask more about the course once you identify with the kind of course that you would like to get into but on a clinical side just to compile everything mds is always it will always be the first and the topmost you know course that you should get into if you are not willing to go for mds go for fellowship programs that's the best um, you know these are the best programs after mds so these are all the clinical courses that are provided or that are available in india but if you are someone who would like to pursue a masters course outside india and you have see there are it's a it's totally depends it's a personal choice whether you want to do it from india or you want to do it outside india right uh, where are you able to afford the fees are you able to uh, you know take out the uh, just not just the fees but also the accommodation part of it I, will you be able to survive in in an environment like that or not there are a lot of factors that are available or you have to you know see for yourself if you are planning to refine your clinical skills outside india so totally a personal choice and if you if you opt for op, uh, opt for going or pursuing a clinical course outside india then the first and foremost which is very very common is the master of science so you have master of science uh, msc as we call it in dentistry from various universities in the uk europe southeast asia australia even africa there are certain african good institutions which are providing master of science so what you can do is you can actually identify you, there are a lot of sites which are available uh, which help you to identify the master of science courses available in dentistry and you should shortlist two to three universities or colleges based on the course duration based on the content the fee structure research prospects that they have because when we talk about master of science these are very research oriented courses okay apart from clinical uh, aspect they also they have a very good ex expectation on the research part they would want you to publish uh, your researches when you go for these courses okay so look into factors like as i mentioned course duration content fee structure research prospects and the faculty which you, which they are teaching you know or the faculty that is teaching you the master of science so you can actually opt for uh, uh, master of science in various branches we have pre previously covered master of science in restorative dentistry from spain 
and master in clinical dentistry master of science in clinical dentistry from the uk so these are two videos that we uh, two of the you know uh, courses that you can pursue outside india if you would like to know more about these courses i will link down the video uh, links in the description below and you can refer it for your reference then the next option to explore the clinical courses we know about dds so dds in the us or canada now in in us it's a mandate to you know do your dds once you clear part 1 of the dental examinations that they have you have to uh, complete or you have to undergo the uh, to the dds program so i think two year program that they uh, that they offer so that's a mandate in the us whereas in the canada uh, if you want to pursue dentistry in canada it's not a mandate that you have to get into dds either you can after clearing your part 1 you can directly sit for part 2 if you're quite confident if you're not then you will have to pursue dds and then you sit for part 2 examination so totally depends on your choice and your preference that what you would like to uh, go with then you have there are various other certificate and diploma programs similar to the programs that we have in india but these are at a very advanced level they teach you uh, based on the tech, you know the latest technology that is being used the latest advances that are being used so from india so examples are like advanced clinical training programs from ucla then you also have a pg certificate in oral surgery from the university of leeds uk these are certain programs that you can get into implantology is another one field that you can explore and get the certificate or the diploma pro you know courses being done so again research on the kind of field and the branch that you want to get into and you want to practice research for the certificate courses or the diploma courses that are available right after bds uh, where you can you know directly apply and you can i mean fill in the application for form and get into the course so these are certain courses that one can actually pursue and refine the clinical skills in india and outside so yeah that's all for today and i hope that this video will help you to identify with the various clinical course options that are available after bds in india and abroad to remind you all once again it is very very important to identify and find your area of interest that you would want to explore and based on that only please pursue the course that you that you want to get into because if your course or your clinical path whether it's a clinical path whether it's a non clinical path if it that is in line with your interest you will definitely be able to proceed and excel ahead in that particular career we will soon be coming up with the third part of the series where i'm going to walk you through various non clinical courses that are available after bds so stay tuned and if you like this information then please like the video share the video and subscribe to our channel comment below if there is anything or any other option that you know of and we have not covered in this clinical pathway so let us know in the comments below and i hope that this, this series will definitely help you to understand and explore the field of either dentistry or healthcare that you want to excel into I will see you in the next video until then bye and good luck